Second generation of second generation methods is, was introduced by Bunker Rost in the early 90s with the PhD method. And the idea here is particularly to actually use, second, to use multiple sequence alignment. So that is really what made a breakthrough. And it was the first time the prediction actually reached over 70%. And there are several methods doing different approaches, but in general, they all built on the idea of PhD. So that's what I will talk about now. So as we know, we can get, make a multiple sequence alignment, and we know that this multiple sequence alignment actually contains much more information than you do in a single sequence. So we can know what the loop gaps are, and there are preferably loops. We know that what I mean as to conserve, etc. So the input to, to the PhD is just basically PSSM, the preference and frequency matrix from a multiple sequence alignment. So and then so this input is used then an input to a neural network. So normally you have um, uh, what they call a sequence destruction network. So you have a amino acid frequencies and some other information, like the gaps and the conservation are input, input. And then frequency, if a certain rest in the middle, like in Gore method, you have a window, look at it. It's a certain method is pretty to be here is sheet to coil. And you slide this window through the sequence. However, to reach this uh, accuracy, you actually have had, in this case, a, a second level network. So basically take the predictions from the first layer network and use that to output the uh, prediction in the third level, uh, or the overall prediction. And the good thing about that is that you can basically weight things with the neighbors to be even better. So you can basically use a second layer there to improve things. And actually, in the initial version of, of PC even had your networks so that had three different versions of, the ne of, of these input networks and uh, used a, a jury to s put them together. And then it really takes it all. So the good thing here was basically you could have much more realistic second generation predictions. So although the accuracy only increased by a few percent, you really had very rare things where you had like a here it predicted where you should have a, 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 a loop or a, or a coil, a sheet, etc. So you can see here that you have three predictions that are PC is slightly better, but only a few percent better than Gore. But you have no cases where you predict sheets and loops to be wrong, mixed between them. And the final, you also have a very high reliability. So if you remember the target P method, it actually predicted uh, had a reliability score, and they also have it here. So they really see that they have, when you have a star state with a five or higher reliability, these predictions are almost always correct. And uh, it has been used in many cases. Since so summary, it was the first method that had more than 70% accuracy. It had a good correct length through the second structure elements to about all the right length. And it had much better beta stand predictions. It had a good correlation between the score and the accuracy. And better predictions for large amount of six alignments. So actually improve and performance has improved significantly since the, the method was introduced because it uh, sequence database is not big.